Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are considering the binary subtraction with the different examples. Before going to the example, let us consider the binary subtraction rules. The different rules for binary subtraction are 0 minus 0 results in 0, 1 minus 0 results in 1, 1 minus 1 results in 0, and finally, 0 minus 1 results in 1 with a borrow of 1. So, 0 can be subtracted from 1 if and only if we have to borrow 1 from the neighboring digit. So, these are the four different rules for binary subtraction. Let us consider some examples. So, our example is subtract 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 with 1, 0, 0, 1. So we have to consider that a lesser number is always subtracted from a greater number. So this is the important point while considering a binary subtraction operation. So here we are subtracting 1001 from 11101. So first of all we have to write 11101 and we are subtracting this 1001. So the subtraction operation is performing from the LSB position. When 1 is subtracted from 1, 1 minus 1 results in 0, 0 minus 0 results in 0, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0 results in 1, and 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 results in 0, and finally 1 is subtracting from nothing, nothing means 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. So the final answer is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 to the base 2. So this is how we are performing the subtraction operation. So let us consider one more example. The second example is subtracting 1101 from 11011. So we have to write the greater number in the first position 11011. And the second number is 1101. So while subtracting, we have to start from the LSB position. 1 minus 1 results in 0. 1 minus 0 results in 1. 0 minus 1. So while subtracting 1 from a 0 or 0 minus 1, in the rule we have know that 0 minus 1 is 1 with a borrow of 1. So that simply means that this 0 has to borrow a digit from this position. So, when 1 is subtracted from 1, the final answer will be 0 and this 1 is passing to this position. So, this is read as 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1. So, 1, 0 minus 1. So, let us consider a simple representation. This 1, 0 in the decimal representation simply means that the decimal number 2 and the 1, 1 means 0, 1. 1 in the decimal representation simply means that that is the digit 1. When 1 is subtracted from 2 or 2 minus 1 always results in 1. So when 1 is subtracted from 1 0 the result will be 1. So again look over here when 1 is subtracting from this 0 while 0 minus 1 what we have to do is we have to carry a number from the leftmost digit. So this 1 is passing to here and this will result in 0. 1, 0 minus 1 will result in 1. So when 1, 1, 0, 1 is subtracted from 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, the result is 1, 1, 1, 0 to the base 2. So our third example is subtract 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 1, 1 from 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So we have to write the greater number 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and subtracting 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So we are starting from the LSB position. 1 minus 1 results in 0. Again 1 minus 1 results in 0. 1 minus 0 results in 1. And here look over here 0 minus 1. Why? Uh, subtracting 1 from 0, we have to borrow a 1 from the neighbor, neighboring digit. So here when we come to the neighboring digit, again we can see a 0 over here. So what we have to do is to borrow 1 from the next position of the 0. 
So here we are borrowing this one. So while borrowing this digit will become 0 and 1 is passing over here. And from this 1 0 we are passing 1 to this digit. So while 1 is subtracting from 1 0 that will result in 1 and 1 is passing over to here. So 1 0 minus 1 results in 1. Here 1 minus 1 will result in 0. So again the next position we, have, we can see 0 minus 1. So while subtracting 1 from 0 what we have to do is borrow 1 from this position. 1 0 minus 1 will result in 1. And again looking over here we can see a 0. We have to borrow 1 from here. So this will become 0. 1 0 minus 1 will result in 1. So the final answer is 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 to the base 2. So the instruments for the example is subtracting 1 1 1 from 1 1 0. So 1 1 1 0 minus 1 1 1. So here 0 minus 1. So what you have to do is borrow a 1 to here that will result in 0 over here. 1 0 minus 1 will result in 1. So again in the next step 0 minus 1. So we have to borrow 1 from here. So that will result in 1 0 minus 1 which will equivalent to 1. And again in the next position 0 minus 1. So we are borrowing 1 from here. That will result in 1 0 minus 1. So simply that is 1 and this 0 is putting over here or simply we can write it as triple 1. So the final result is 1 1 1 to the base 2. So my dear students kindly go through this assignment questions. The questions are subtract 1 1 1 1 from 1 1 1 1 0. Second question is subtract 1 1 1 from 1 0 0 0 1. And the third question is subtract 1 0 1 1 1 from 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 to the base 2. So my dear students hope you have understood this topic. In the upcoming lecture we will discuss how to subtract a plotting or fractional binary digit. So see you soon. Until then goodbye. Thank you and all the best.